First up, A is for ACE inhibitors and ARBs who act to lower the blood pressure. Only guys, not the heart rate. Big on the NCLEX. Our first choice is ACE inhibitors that end in pril, like lisinopril. So we call it a chill pril for the heart. We're talking low blood pressure, not the heart rate. Or think prills puts the blood pressure low. Now our second choice is ARBs, the angiotensin receptor blockers, which end in sartan like low sartan. So think sartan like relaxed man or retirement plan. Lowers the blood pressure, not the heart rate. So a question for you. Do we give prills and sartans if the heart rate is bradycardic or below 60? Well guys, yes. ACE inhibitors and ARBs act to lower the blood pressure only, not the heart rate. So we only hold for low blood pressure. Now the mechanism of action is quite simple. Both ACEs and ARBs either inhibit or block the RAS system, which retains fluid. Or in fancier terms, the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. So aldosterone is blocked from adding that sodium water in and letting that potassium out. So again, the big problem here is retaining too much potassium. Huge side effect. Now speaking of side effects, we just keep it simple. So just think ACE like an ACE inhibitor. A for avoid pregnant patients. These two are baby toxic. A for angioedema, swelling of the face and tongue, resulting in a huge airway risk. Very deadly. But guys, this only happens with ACE inhibitors, so just think prills puff up the tongue and not sartans. Big NCLEX tip. Now C is for cough, but again, only prills do that. And E is for elevated potassium, not vitamin K. We're talking potassium over 5.0. So think P in prills puffs the tongue and adds potassium. And S is for sartans. Sartans spare the potassium and are prescribed second after ACEs. Now we teach patients to avoid potassium-rich foods like fruits and veggies, specifically green leafy veggies, avocados, melons, and oranges, but even salt substitutes and liver. Now I didn't know the liver one until we did the NCLEX review. Now a quick NCLEX side note, since potassium pumps the muscles, early signs of high potassium we're thinking high pumps of the muscles. So key word here is muscle spasms. So with our ECG, we have high pumps with peak T waves and ST elevations. And any potassium imbalance, high or low, always the first action by the nurse is cardiac monitor. Huge NCLEX favorite right there. So again, prills and sartans are ACEs and ARBs. Remember the three A's. A for antihypertensive, we're talking low blood pressure, not heart rate, so slow position changes. A for avoid pregnant patients, not baby safe. And the last A is for adds potassium, aka hyperkalemia, over 5.0. Now a little side note before beta blockers, kind of big for pharmacology exams, something called first dose phenomenon. If you hear first dose or newly prescribed drug or the first time taking the drug, guys, don't leave the patient's bedside. Always assess for big side effects. So in this case, a big blood pressure drop. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.